and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Oh, we're going to be looking at something of a doozy this evening. Well, this evening for myself, today for you. And this is coming from Timothy Pike, a master sarcasm of Checkmate on Twitter. And it's just really interesting because a lot of his shows about Sabat and it's a bit like, dude, what is wrong with you? And these just kind of show you what type of dick you really are. So we're going to jump into it. Okay, F it. Sabat contacted me last week and what he said threw me for a loop. So why would he want to contact people if they're lying? Can anyone answer this? Also, he claims to not know a certain person's voice wasn't used in Battle of the Gods. Hashtag I stand with V. And there's a couple of tweets here, but we also have another lot as well from the same person. So we're going to jump into these, and as you can see, this is the first one. I pretty much thought they were funny. Yeah, that was stupid, and most of that was almost 20 years ago. I never made that sacred ointment clip. I was just joking around between takes, and some engineer took the audio and put it all together as a joke. It was funny, but I have a really immature sense of humour. Then we move on to something as well, which they're all regarding, I believe, it is Stephanie. I don't recall her voice being used. If it was during that opening sequence, it was possibly pulled from an old episode during the mix process at Funimation. If that's the case, and again, I'm not sure, it also could have been Colleen's voice. They may have forgotten to credit her because it wasn't in the script, from which the credits are generated. I can tell you that Fanny would never have intentionally left her name out of the credits though. Ah, okay. While I worry about sharing private messages about Stephanie without her approval, I've spoken to her recently, actually because someone shared what they claimed to be a conversation about me, and now people are saying terrible things about me that aren't true. Well, again, with this here now, he's actually talking about all this, and it's like, well, this is what's happening to V. Everything has been saying the terrible things about him, and you, and this is how you're acting, it's like, oh yeah, whatever. You've jumped on the bandwagon against him. You're saying, no, oh, they're terrible things about me, oh, and you're starting to cry about it. If they're fake, come out and say something about them. This is what V has done. This is why he has gone to court. People are saying, oh, he's trying to silence them. No, he's not. He is not trying to silence people who are actively campaigning against him. He just wants these people to lay off because he's like, it's not true. Again, these people don't see it like that. They just think a touch on the arm or and they say, as they were, hugging and all and you know, running his hands through his hair, pulling her hair. Remember, the hair pull incident was in the lobby of a Sony Funimation studio. It would have security guards, it would have receptionists, it would have people coming back and forth through the lobby. Because obviously, if it's a studio like that, I, mean, I assume it's busy, you know? And he just carried on talking about Stephanie. I know of her history with alcoholism, but I only recently became aware of the reasons. Those reasons and her behaviour at that time ruined her career. I'm working with her now to help her get the redemption she's trying too hard to get right now. And with that, I'm like, right, okay, whatever, mate. The way you're acting is you are literally trying to get people on your side again. And some people, it's not going to work, mate. It's really not. Timothy had more, and these ones are. I'm glad you can do that. You've seen how hard it is for people like Monica, Ron and Jamie who did nothing but tell the truth because they know V. Well, again, you're saying Ron, you know, he saw all this, but then V is like, well, no, I've only met him a couple of times. I've always been with Monica, I've always been out with Jamie. We've always been out together. And the one thing that still irks me is that before all this started... A couple of days before everything, there was a video, I've, I've done it in the video myself, Monica is saying, oh, I love V, we're family, we're this, we're that. And then you've also got videos of Jamie all over V at conventions, at talks and everything else, and she's there putting her arm around him, hi, oh, yeah. and it's like, well, come on, you've all been doing it to him. All of a sudden, you're like, you know what, nah, sod him. It's almost like it is the motive of, right, he's got a movie out now. He's become too big for his boots. Let's just knock him down a peg. That's what it seems to be. And the last one we have from uh, Mr. Sabat, it reads, 
Stephanie knows why she was let go, and those reasons were valid and professional, not the stupid rumours you hear about online. Anyway, I need to go and get kids ready for school. As Stephanie says, stay positive. That's almost like a jab of her at the end, but again, with all of this, they aren't rumours if we're reading what you're typing. That's what really makes me laugh about all these people. And it's our opinion we add on to them. So they're not going to be rumours. They're opinions of what you wrote or what you've done. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. Spread the video far and wide. And I'll see all you lovely people soon.